video is sponsored by Lily Silk, and I just want to take a moment to mention that it's really only been in the last year that I've realized how so many natural products have natural benefits to it, and that you don't really get the same thing from synthetic materials. And Silk is one of those products that falls into that category. Obviously, it's taken time for me to build up my pieces in silk because they are such an investment. Now, one of my favorite companies that I've come across has been Lily Silk, just because they have such high quality products. They have such a range of products from pillowcases to bedding sets and clothing. They have stunning skirts. I can't wait to buy a skirt from them. They have such pretty like little silk skirts as well and dresses, so many different things. I just love the products that I've gotten from them. And these pajamas are also by Lily Silk as well. One thing that I really noticed about their products is that the actual materials are just really high quality. So for example, their silk is made out of mulberry silk, I believe. Their cashmere is Mongolian cashmere, 100% natural. So they don't use any synthetic fibers, then you get the full benefits of the actual natural material. Now, because they use natural materials, I think one thing that's really important is that they are environmentally conscious and that they're sustainable. I know that they use like remains from their bigger products that they're making, like their pajamas. They'll use remains in the cutoffs and make scrunchies and eye masks out of that. They also work with TerraCycle, I believe, to really achieve the zero waste in their production. So I wanted to show you some of the items that I got from Lily Silk, and they actually all come in really stunning boxes, which I've kept so I can show you what that looks like. But the first item that I wanna show you is actually these pillowcases. These are 100% silk pillowcases, and I got two of them. They are absolutely so soft and so amazing. But the real reason I wanted to get this is actually for the properties of the silk and the benefits that they give when you're using this as a pillowcase. It helps your skin retain moisture and stay hydrated, but it also helps to decrease the amount of sleep wrinkles that you can get because the silk fabric is actually not very resistant. So that's one thing that was really important to me. But the other thing that was extremely important to me was around my hair, actually. Using a silk pillowcase again because it's not very resistant and because it doesn't take away moisture from my hair it just helps it to be less frizzy and just look nice and look shinier and that is why i have wanted silk pillowcases for literally a year before i got these now the next thing that i got from lily silk was this set of pajamas these are the most stunning color i love them so much they're so soft they're so comfortable and they're so nice to sleep in. They're also nice to lounge in. But for me, the best thing about this, in addition to it just being like a treat and feeling nice on my skin, is actually that when I sleep in these, it is naturally heat regulating. That's an amazing property of silk. And the next thing I wanna show you is actually something that they sent me. This is a silk eye mask. It's very thick, it's very soft. It feels just amazing. Why this is such a big item for me <laughs> might be more specific to me, but I'll just share it anyway. I actually don't sleep with my eyes fully closed. Like when my when I think my eyes are closed, even if I'm awake but I close my eyes, my eyes aren't fully closed. I've been like that since I was a baby. And so wearing this silk eye mask really, really helps with my eyes being dry in the morning because I was suffering from that big time. The optometrist was literally like, hey, like you need to do something about this. Either use eye drops or get a really good eye mask and this has really helped with that. And the last piece I actually wanna show you is this bra that I have from them. It is the literal softest thing I've ever worn. It's seamless, like on the edges, it's absolutely seamless, but it is still supportive. Somehow, I'm not sure how they do it. The construction of it is amazing. The feel is amazing. It's pretty cool because Lily Silk is a brand that's loved by a lot of celebrities as well. Like I've seen Megan Trainer talk about them and Nina Dobrev and having a few of their pieces, I totally get why. They're just so luxurious and they're just a nice treat for myself, especially since I spend so much time at home. Now, if you want to treat yourself or treat someone else, I do have a discount code. It's Delia15 for 15% off. And I will also link that down below. But thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so last week you saw that I got an order from Amazon. It was two amber glass bottles these ones to be exact and super cute, love them. I wanted these to go in my bathroom, except what I really wanted was just one soap dispenser glass 
and one that is actually a toothbrush holder. However, I couldn't find a set that included the same type of glass toothbrush holder, so I figure I am going to attempt to cut one of these down to size to be the same as a toothbrush holder, I guess, and then like sand the glass. No idea how this is gonna work, okay? No idea. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have ordered three in case one breaks, but then I didn't wanna waste money, so I only got two, and I'm just crossing my fingers, it's gonna work fine. And the other thing I mentioned is like, counters in my bathroom really aren't that pretty of a color. I don't really like them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave them as is and kind of work with them, or if I'm gonna cover them up, but either way, I got this and the other one that I'm gonna cut and I figured I would put them on like a little dish or something that would add a little bit more contrast. And even if I do add contact paper on there, I think it'll still be a nice contrast. And so I went to HomeSense and to my surprise, they had many, many different styles of bathroom trays that I could choose from. And my initial idea was actually to get one that was stone and I did get one that was stone. This one to be exact, it has a nice little speckling there. I thought this would be nice, but I wasn't 100% sure. And then I also picked up this one and I think I'm gonna lean towards this one cause I just took a look at them on the counter. But we'll have to see how this all goes. I mean, hopefully I'm able to cut it because I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know if it's gonna work properly. Doing things like cutting glass kind of scares me a little bit, but it looks easy according to the interwebs. So let's give it a go. literally half an inch from falling off the counter. So in case you were wondering, my current confidence is quite low. Quite low. <laughs> what will happen? Will this even break? I mean, I don't know. Will this break in a straight line? I mean, I don't know. I did not do the best line, that's for sure. Will any amount of sanding be able to fix this? You ask me and I ask you. Apparently, all you need to do is pour hot water over the edge, then cold water over the edge, then hot water over the edge, then cold water over the edge, and eventually it should break. But am I confident in this? No. <laughs> Ready? I don't think I'm ready, but I'm going for it. Oh, I hear it breaking. Oh, bad things happen. Oh, a bad thing happened. So sad. It almost worked, but it didn't. So sad. So sad. So obviously that did not go to plan, unfortunately. And what I think I did wrong was, I think I'm supposed to do like 
First of all, I think I should have clamped the glass cutter so that it couldn't move at all. And then that way I could have applied like more force around the whole thing to have one consistent deep line, which I didn't do because like I physically couldn't and the thing was moving a little bit. And then the other thing I think I did wrong was I don't think I actually poured hot water around the whole thing when I was pouring for the first time. And it pretty much broke right after that. So I think it broke at the weak points that didn't have the hot water. Cause half of it broke like pretty straight across. Anyway, now I'm not 100% sure what to do. I am left with just one soap dispenser and I'm not sure if I should, what should I do? Should I use this as a soap dispenser and just find a different type of thing to put toothbrushes in? Or should I go ahead and try and cut this one and then see if that works? If it does work, then I can order another one to be the matching soap dispenser. Or do I risk just like breaking two in a row, which would be bad and make me feel even more sad and more wasteful in a way. Although, you know what, I shouldn't feel like that because like obviously if it's my first time trying to cut glass, I mean, how can I do it right the first time? I feel like I should have tried on something even cheaper, like a dollar store glass or even, actually that's about it. A lot of people use alcohol bottles. I don't drink alcohol, so I don't have any. The other thing that just came to my mind was maybe I can go and try and find like a candle that is made out of amber glass and then just like melt out the wax, transfer that into a different jar and then use that as the toothbrush holder. Those are my options here. And I'm not loving any of my options currently. So let me know what you think I should do. Just for reference, so like again, I had this and this is what this would have looked like with like the other one next to it, which I could still keep this and put a candle next to it. Maybe I could also just put my toothbrushes like in the drawer. I've seen people do that, but I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, this is what this one would have looked like. And then the one I'm leaning to even more was this one, which I thought would have been perfect with like this on one side and then the other one on the other side and then a candle or a little plant or something in between. That's what I wanted, okay? That was my vision. And the gold I thought would be perfect because once I saw it in place, I was like, okay, I could also spray paint the like little doorknobs to the vanity, like the little handles gold as well so they could have some more matching and I love gold as we know. I love that. I just love the coloring. I feel like that's gonna look so nice if I just had the other stuff. If only I didn't break it. It's currently snowing so much outside which is so lovely and it's getting dark and it's getting cozy and I think I'm gonna have some popcorn and watch a movie, the Hallmark kind, on Netflix. Does that sound fun? something on this living room wall. It's like the main wall in here that I definitely know needs something and I want it to be statement-y. So I have this vision for doing a wood panel wall and my idea is to do it starting on that end all the way to the midpoint of the wall. Now I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna go in terms of executing this whole thing. I had a vision and a plan for what I was gonna do. Then I went to the hardware store and I realized how expensive some products were. I thought maybe this isn't as doable as I thought. Then I kept searching and I came up with an idea and it should be easier than my original idea. But I'll tell you my original idea first in case you're somewhere that you just happen to have some random supplies and don't mind putting in a little extra effort. So initially what I wanted to do was get a big piece of plywood that would cover the entire section that I wanted to do and then get pieces of wood panel trim pieces and glue them on to the panel and then I could screw the whole plywood panel to the wall. That was my initial 
idea and that way there would be like the extended wood panels and then wood kind of spacings in between them if that makes sense so the whole area would be wood the issue is that i couldn't figure out exactly how thick the plywood panel would need to be to support that kind of weight. And the plywood panels are really, really expensive. Even the thinnest kind is really expensive. So then I started questioning that route. I was like, oh my gosh. And plus like, I don't have enough clamps to actually clamp down the pieces of wood. Like, how's that gonna work? Can I nail it? Can I staple it somehow? Like, I just started thinking of all sorts of things. And I was like, ugh, leaning against that. I didn't really wanna do that. Then I thought of another idea that should give a similar look, if not even a better look, but I don't know, I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that that's the end result. For now, I think I'm just going to go to the hardware store and pick up my supplies, and then I can further think through what exactly I'm gonna do. But I think this is gonna be a good idea. Well, you know what they say There are no kingdoms without rulers Are you ready for change? see what it would look like just to get an idea and I can tell it's gonna be good well you know 